welcome back students students this is the second audio in continuation to class 6th for the subject of mathematics topic linear equation and is being submitted to you on 30th november 2020 students in the previous video we have discussed about linear equation and transpose method i hope you are clear with the transpose method so children let us start few questions from your book exercise that is exercise 3a now in the first one question number 1 solve the following equations and verify the correctness of the solution now children let us solve this equation and correctness i'll tell you afterwards now children our first question is x plus 11 is equal to 15 this is a linear equation why why this is a linear equation because here we are having equal to sign we have a left hand side with variable and constant and we are having right hand side so what is a linear equation it is a statement of equality in which left hand side is equal to right hand side now children let us solve this linear equation let us find the solution solution means you have to find the value of x now let us remember transpose method children do you have any idea that how to use transpose method yes here we are having plus 11 and you will shift plus 11 to that side what you are going to do plus 11 will be shifted to that side right hand side so plus 11 will become minus 11 on right hand side what it will become minus 11 so your statement will become or your equation will become x is equal to 15 minus 11 now we have to get rid of plus 11 so it will go on the right hand side and become minus 11 so 15 minus 11 is equal to 4 so your x is equal to 4 so 4 is the solution of the given equation now children what can you say that that your 4 is the solution of this given equation okay so now let's check the correctness of the solution now children correctness means that you have to verify that whatever you have calculated is right or not what is the meaning of correctness correctness means that whatever solution you have got that this is your solution whether this is right or not so let's verify our sum so you have to verify now children look at your equation which one is your left hand side can you tell me which one is your left hand side yes your x plus 11 is your left hand side so now we will substitute the value of 4 as x as 4 because we have just calculated that the value of x is equal to 4 now we have to check the correctness of the correctness of the variable so now let us see now this is your left hand side your left hand side is equal to x plus 11 now you have to substitute the value of x as 4 what you have to do you have to substitute the value of x as 4 so now children after substitution what your answer becomes 4 plus 11 what is your answer 4 plus 11 that is 
15. Now children, is this 15 equal to right hand side of your equation? Yes, your right hand side is 15. Your both the values are same. This is 15. This is your 15. And this is also your 15. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So it means your answer is correct. Hence, verify it. Now children, let's move on to the second part of this question. That is, your second part is, y minus 4 is equal to 6. What is that? y minus 4 is equal to 6. Now children, we have to use transpose method here. So here we have to get rid of minus 4. What we have to do? We have to shift minus 4 on the other side. So your minus 4 will go that side and it will become plus 4. What it will become? Plus 4. So now your equation will become y is equal to 6 plus 4. What your statement becomes? x y is equal to 6 plus 4. Now what is your 6 plus 4? That is 10. So your final answer is 10. So children, you can say that 10 is the solution of your equation y minus 4 is equal to 6. Now children, we have to verify our solution. Means we have to check that our answer is right or not. So what you will do, you will take your left hand side. What is your left hand side? Y minus, uh, it's it's your y minus 4. What is your left hand side? y minus 4. Now let us substitute the value of y which you have just calculated. What is the value of y? It's 10. Now let us substitute the value as 10. So your answer becomes 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. What is your answer? 6. 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. Now children, look at your right hand side. Is your right hand side equal to 6? Yes. Your equation's right hand side is 6. And you also got 6. So it means your left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, verified. It means whatever you have calculated, that is right. Your solution is right. Now let's move on to the third part. Y is equal to Z plus 2. Children, I told you that your variable should be on one side. It can be on left side or it can be on right side. So right now your variable is on right side. So no issues. Your variable can be on the right side. Now we have to get rid of this plus 2. So we have to send plus 2 on the another side. So now when plus 2 will go on the another side, that is on the left hand side, it will become minus 2 because according to transpose rule plus will go that side and it will become minus 2. So your next statement becomes 5 minus 2 is equal to z because plus 2 has transposed that side and it becomes minus 2. So your answer becomes 5 minus 2 is equal to z Further, z is equal to 3 or you can write 3 equal to z or z equal to 3, one and the same thing. Now children, we have to verify our answer also. 
whether z equal to 3 is a right value or not. So let's see your left hand side is 5 and your right hand side is z plus 2. So now let us substitute the value of z in the right hand side. Now children, what is the value of z? You have just calculated the value of z as 3. So now substitute the value of z as 3. So what will be your answer now? 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Is your left hand side 5? Just go to your question and just check is your left hand side 5? Yes, you have same answer. So it means your right hand side is equal to left hand side. You can see that your right hand side and your left hand side both are equal. So it means your solution is right. So it means you can say that z equal to 3 is the solution of the given equation. Okay students, so I hope you are clear with the solution of the equation and how to check the correctness. So now let us move on to the fourth part. Now your fourth part is x divided by 6 is equal to 5. x divided by 6 is equal to 5. Now children, you know that if any number is divided on the left side, it will go and becomes multiply. What you will do? You will multiply on the right hand side. Okay, so now what it will become? So x is equal to 5 multiply by 6. So after multiplication, what is your answer? 5, 6 are 30. So the value of x is equal to 30. So now children, you can say that the solution of your equation is 30. So 30 is the solution of your equation that is x divided by 6 is equal to 5. Now children, we have to check our correctness also. Correctness means you have to check that your answer is correct or not. So let's do the verification. Now children, which one is your left hand side? Your left hand side is x upon 6. And which one is your left hand, right hand side? That is your 5. Okay, so now let's check the correctness of this solution. Your left hand side is equal to x divided by 6. What is that? x divided by 6. Now children, what is the value of x? We have just calculated the value of x and the value of x is 30. What is that? 30. Now let's substitute the value. Now you have x as 30. So now we will substitute. So your statement becomes 30 divided by 6. What it becomes? 30 divided by 6. Now children, you have to cancel them in a lowest form. 6 1s are 6. 6 5s are 30. So now when you have calculated, your left hand side is equal to 5. Just check it in the question. Is your right hand side is also 5? Yes, your right hand side is also 5. It means left hand side and right hand side are equal. What they are? They are equal. Your left hand side and right hand side are equal. It means your solution is correct. Hence, verified. I hope you are clear with this question. So now let us move on to the fifth part. Now this is your fifth part. Minus 2z 
divided by three is equal to four. Now children, read this equation carefully. It is minus two multiply z. If there is no sign between constant and a variable, it means which sign you are having here? Multiply. So you will read like this, minus two multiply z divided by three is equal to four. Now children, in this question, you have to get rid of two things. First, you have to get rid of this three and then you have to get rid of this minus two. Okay, so now you have to do one by one. First, you have to shift three on that side. Now children, three is in divide, so it will go and becomes multiply. What it will become? Multiply. So your next statement will become minus two z is equal to four multiply three because we will send one by one. Now we have shifted three on that side. So your answer become minus two z is equal to four threes are 12. What it becomes? Minus two z is equal to 12. Now children, we have minus two also. So you have to shift minus two on that side. What you will do? you will shift minus two on the other side, that is on the left hand side. So minus two is in multiplication, it will go on the right hand side and it will be divided. It will divide the other number. So what it becomes now? Now it will become z is equal to 12 divided by minus two. Children, be careful. Minus 2 will not become plus 2 over there. It will be divided. Because what is the relation between minus 2 and z? That is multiply. So minus 2 will go that side and it will be divided. So your equation becomes 12 divided by minus 2. Now children, you are well aware you have to convert into lowest form. Both the terms goes by 2. 2 ones are 2 and 2 6 are 12. So your answer is 6. In fact, minus will also come. So your final answer is minus 6. What is your answer? Minus 6. So you can say that minus 6 is the solution of this equation. I repeat. Minus 6 is the solution of this equation. So I hope you are clear with the word solution. It means it is the value of the variable. Now children, we have to check our correctness also. Whether z is equal to minus 6 is correct or not. So let's check out. So which one is the left hand side here? Can you tell me which one is left hand side? Yes, you are right. Minus 2z upon 3 is your left hand side and 4 is your right hand side. Okay, so now let's check our correctness. Our left hand side is minus 2z upon 3. Now again same, you have to substitute the value of z as minus 6 because we have just calculated that z is equal to minus 6. So now let us substitute the value. Now children, when you substitute the value z as minus 6, so it will become minus 2 multiply minus 6. Why there is a multiply sign? I told you that if there is no sign between a constant and a variable, it means it is multiply. What is the sign? It's multiply. So you will multiply minus 2 and minus 6. So let's do that. It is minus 2 into minus 6. It's plus 12 divided by 3. Now cancel them. 3 4s are 12 and your answer is 
four. Now children, your left hand side is equal to four. What is your left hand side? Four. Now check out, is your right hand side is also four? Let's check out. Is your right hand side is also four? Yes. Let's see. Where is your right hand side? Is your, yes. This is your four. You can see that. Your right hand side is four. And even left hand side is also four. So both are same. Your left hand side is equal to right hand side. It means the value of the variable is correct. Now let's children move on to the question number two. That is your, you have to find the value of, okay. Now you have to solve and you have to verify the solution. It's again same. You have to solve the equation and then you have to verify the solution. Now let's have a quick look on the question. It is 6x minus 5 is equal to 7. Let's discuss few things about this example or question. Now children, is this an equation? Yes. Can you tell me why? Why this is an equation? Can you tell me? Yes, because it is equal to sign. Then we have a left hand side. We have a right hand side. So this much is enough for an equation. Is this a linear equation? Yes or not? Yes, because the variable degree is or the power of a variable is one. So this is a linear equation. Now, can you tell me the variables or a variable used in this equation? Which one is the variable? X is the variable. Which one is the variable? X. And which are the constant in this? Which one is the constant? 6 is the constant. Minus 5 is the constant. Even 7. Okay, children. These three are constant. X is the variable. Now, next last question from my side is, which one is the left-hand side? Can you tell me which one is the left-hand side? Yes, 6x minus 5 is your left-hand side and 7 is your right-hand side. I guess you are clear with all the basic things here. So now let us proceed. You have to find the value of the variable. You have to find the variable value of the variable. So children, you have to get rid of minus 5. You have to get rid of minus 5. And also you have to get rid of 6. It means you have to shift minus 5 also and 6. So let us start the question. So children, in this question, First, you have to shift minus 5 on the other side. You have to shift minus 5 on the right hand side. So now, minus 5 will be transposed to the right hand side and it becomes plus 5. Very right. What it will become? Plus 5. So your equation becomes 6x is equal to 7 plus 5. 5. What it becomes? 7 plus 5. Now let's solve it. 7 plus 5 means 12. What it becomes? 12. Now children, from which number or a constant we have to get rid of now? It's 6. Now 6 is in multiplication with x. So it will go and it will become divide on right hand side. Now 6 will go and becomes divide. 6 will be transpose. 6 will be shifted. You can say anything. So now 6 will be shifted on right hand side and it will divide. Now, so what it becomes now? Your question will become x is equal to 12 divided by 
6. What it will become? 12 divided by 6. Now again the same thing. You have to convert your fraction in the lowest form. Both the terms goes by 6 table. 6 ones are 6. 6 twos are 12. So your final answer is 2. What is your final answer? That is 2. Now children, so what can you say about 2? You can say that 2 is the solution of this equation. I repeat, when your value of x is 2, you can say that 2 is the solution of 6x minus 5 is equal to 7. Now children, we have to check our correctness also. Means we have to verify that whatever we have calculated is right or not. We have to verify. So let's start the verification. To verify, you have to pick the left hand side. What is your left hand side here? 6x minus 5. What you have to pick? Your left hand side. Your left hand side is 6x minus 5. Now again, here x, you have to substitute. What you have to do? You have to substitute the value of x as 2. Because we have just calculated the value of x as 2. So now let's substitute. Now children, when you substitute the value, it becomes 6 multiply 2 minus 5. 6 multiply 2 minus 5. Now according to Bodmer's rule, multiply first. So it becomes 12 minus 5. And 12 minus 5 is 7. What is 12 minus 5? 7. So now children, can you tell me what is your left hand side now? 7. What is your left hand side? 7. And what was your right hand side in the equation? This is your right hand side. This is your right hand side. So can you see that your left hand side and right hand side are equal? Your left hand side is 7 and even your right hand side is also 7. So now children you can say that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence verified. It means your solution is correct. This is your solution and it is correct. Your value is correct. So now let's move on to our next question that is now next question is your 5y plus 3 is equal to 3y minus 4. I repeat the question, 5y plus 3 is equal to 3y minus 4. Now children, look at this question very carefully. Now you have linear equation with you. Now you have to find the value of the variable. Now which one is the variable? y. Here also you are having y. Okay, so you have one variable, but it is also on both the side. It is in the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. Let us see one more time. Children, in this we are having left hand side 5y plus 3 and right hand side as 3y minus 4. Now in this question, we have a variable term on left hand side as well as on right hand side. So let's start the sum. Now children in this question we have variables on both side. So it means you will shift the variable also uh, left hand side and you will send 3 on the other side. I repeat as your I told you that your variable should only be on one side. So you will bring 3y on the left side and plus 3 you will bring on the right side. So 
when 3y goes on the left hand side, the sign will be changed. Okay, children, their sign will be changed. You can see that when my, uh, plus 3y will come to this side, it will become minus and when plus 3 will be shifted on the right side, it will become minus 3. So, what your uh, equation becomes now? 5y minus 3y equal to minus 4 and minus 3. The sign is changed. Now, let us solve this. As they are like terms, 5y and 3y, so you can subtract them. 5y minus 3y. 5 minus 3. You will subtract the numbers. You will not subtract the variable. You will only subtract the numerical coefficient. 5 minus 3. 2. And y will remain as it is. Children, in this only the numerical coefficient will be subtracted. And the variable will remain the same. So 5y minus 3y will be equal to 2y. What it will become? 2y. And it will become 2y. And minus 4 and minus 3 will become minus 7. Children, we have already discussed this thing in integer chapters. That the two negative numbers get added up. So minus 4 and minus 3 will become minus 7. So your equation is 2y is equal to minus 7. Now children, 2 will be transposed to the other side. Now 2 will be shifted. So it will become divide. Because on the left hand side it is in multiplication. So it will go and become divide. Okay. So your statement or your equation will become now y is equal to minus 7 upon 2. What it becomes? y is equal to minus 7 upon 2. Now we got the value of variable as a fraction, as an improper fraction. So children, you can say that minus 7 upon 2 is the solution of this equation. Okay. Now children, again the same thing. You have to check your correctness. You have to check whether the value which you have calculated is right or not. So same thing. Pick the left hand side first. Okay. First you have to pick the left hand side. And then you have to pick the right hand side. Let's solve one by one. Let us check the left hand side. Your left hand side in the question is 5y plus 3. What is your left hand side? 5y plus 3. Now you have to substitute the value of y in the left hand side. So your left hand side will become now 5 multiply minus 7 upon 2 plus 3. What it will become? 5 multiply minus 7 upon 2 plus 3. Now, according to Bodmer's rule, multiplication should be done first. So, 5 sevens are 35. So, it is minus 35 upon 2 plus 3. Now, children, whenever we are dealing with fraction, addition and subtraction, you have to take the LCM. What you have to do? You have to take the LCM. And the LCM of 2 and 1. Because if there is no denominator, it means it's 1. The LCM of 2 and 1 is 2. So, LCM is 2. So, the first term will remain minus 35. Now, to make the second fraction as denominator 2, you have to multiply with 2. So, 3 twos are 6. So, 3 will become now 6. Now, you have to solve this. Minus 35 plus 6 will become minus 29 upon 2. So, what is your left-hand side? 
minus 29 upon 2. Now let's see the right hand side. Now children, in the question your right hand side is 3y minus 4. You can check that what is your right hand side in the given linear equation? 3y minus 4. Now again, you have to substitute the value of y in the right hand side also. So let's calculate. So your right hand side will become now 3 multiply minus 7 upon 2 minus 4. Now same thing. Multiplication should be done first. So it becomes minus 21 upon 2 minus 4. Now we are dealing with fraction. So take the LCM. The LCM of 2 and 1 is again 2. So first term will remain minus 21 only. Now to make the denominator as 2, you have to multiply the second term with 2. So 4 2 is 8. Now minus 21 minus 8 is equal to minus 29 upon 2. So children, you can check out that your left hand side is equal to minus 29 upon 2 and your right hand side is also equal to minus 29 upon 2. So you can check that both the values are equal. So your left hand side and right hand side are equal. So you can say that your value is correct. What is that? Your value is correct. That is y is equal to minus 7 upon 2. Is it clear? So this value is correct. Now children, I hope you are clear with today's lecture. And if you have any problem, please watch this video one more time because this is a very important concept. So children, let's revise what we have done in this chapter. First thing, we have understood the meaning of equation, even linear equation. Then we have done a very important method that is transpose method to find the solution of the equation. We were having four method, sorry, four rules. That is, if anything is in multiplication, it goes to right hand side and your constant will become negative. Okay, so in this way, we have discussed four things. Okay, so now children do all these questions of exercise 3a in your mathematics register along with these questions from page number 825 exercise 3a question 1 fifth seventh eighth and ninth part even question number 2 b part now children in the next video we will discuss question number 3 and 4 of this exercise along with exercise 3b. Thank you students.